Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our free technical video report for Tuesday, May 14th, 2019. Hope you guys are managing through these uh, these volatile markets and let's get started. So, um, are we really are the what we were looking at over you know kind of heading into last week uh at when towards the end was that we were uh you know we, we've been expecting that we we're going to get some kind of quick pullback and then um probably get some kind of rally into the uh into the kill zone well we're now looking at what's going to be a possible black hole and i'm going to show you why that's going to be important because it's actually even kind of worse than the kill zone uh that woody's been uh talking about so we got um we we took our uh, a, a short position at 29.42 um the reason why time wise we're, we're we were looking for for it to fit into the kill zone that we are going to have to have a quick drop and then a rally that's going to lure in all of the uh, all of the bulls into the kill zone which is now going to also turn into the black hole where everybody gets trapped and then from there they kind of just pull the entire rug out um, sentiment we had very high sentiment readings where we were at a uh, at 98 percent uh, uh, uh bullish sentiment readings and technicals we had enough wave structures that were there as well as bearish divergences on all charts to be looking for a top so the only thing that we needed was a, a sell trigger which we got and simply placed the stop at the you know uh, above the previous highs so if, if we got stopped out which did happen a few times it's a limited loss but when you get in at, at the right thing that's where you, you know you turn around and you make 130 uh, 140 points points uh, in, a, in a very fast time period and, and that's really what happens uh, tops are a lot harder to to get than than uh, than picking bottoms because uh, the bulls from the most part will not leave the party until they're forced out but as I've been explaining um, everybody you know was looking they all had their same exit strategy and it ended up you know when they found out that everybody was uh, aiming for that same door to get out everybody got trapped and from there what happened was we went from uh, a short-term euphoria and right now intermediate term we were in this area too to short term we got into capitulation because yesterday after that big drop we had a 1% bullish reading so everybody went from extremely bullish on the market to extremely bearish we put that out saying that we are expecting some kind of bounce and that's pretty much exactly what took place so if we take a look at the sentiment charts here you can see at the top 95 96 91 and the market pretty much went nowhere but it didn't go down and and that's what lures everybody into this all of a sudden we get that quick drop and everybody's bearish on the market and today we saw the S&P at some point was up 38 points so it, it's fitting everything that we've uh, you know been saying where the, the you know the, the people they're gonna get long at the exact wrong times and even from these levels here where it still took almost a month for this to drop we the market didn't go anywhere we went kind of sideways up 20 or 30 points but if you got long in this area you're you know you're you're underwater already and and that's you know thinking that you're right for three months but anyway sentiment came in at one percent bullish uh so every um, everybody was bearish on the market that's what that means and uh and what woody is saying is that with the drama of the one percent bullish uh it fits to have a recovery into a specific time period uh before the next decline into a more black hole like behavior uh that now what he was saying is that uh you know this is fluid situation which uh he evaluate uh day by day and has noted the prosperity for strength into a, again this is a time period we're looking but it's not guaranteed so what we're looking for is a bounce that's going to lure everybody in and let's take a look at at the regular charts and i'll show you what what i mean so this is a weekly chart and this is why the black holes are very very important important. 
each one of these was a black hole event and and they they're very very fast so it's not you know we're looking at a, the a, a start of a massive massive bear market we're looking at one of these type drops where where the s p loses 10 percent in in a week or so and and you can see sometimes it you know it takes a little bit longer uh and it extends out but you can see the size of these moves and and this is where it's starting so does it mean that we we can't come up and close the, the gaps up there absolutely not i actually believe we will be coming up and closing the gaps and that's going to lower all in or that's going to lure the bulls in but right now i um i what i've been telling members is because we we got our uh our short position was at 27 for uh 29 42 stop was at 29 55 so this actually didn't look good because it looked like we were going to get stopped out but then obviously that that went down and um once we got down to the because this was always the target the 28 10 area and so on this big gap down, we, we took uh, I, I took a third of my position off. I took another third off at 28.10, and this is what happened. So right now, we're within a range where the bears need to get it through to 2810, uh, 28.01. If they do that, we're coming down probably to the 27.85. Uh, the bulls, they really need to get it through this 20, uh, say the 20, 28.90 area. If they do that, then expect these gaps to get closed. But like I said, they may not because uh, we're you know that the, the time is running out for the bulls. Uh, even though we could still have this massive, uh, say, short covering rally. But what is uh, you know you, you just got to know the time period because once it hits. Um, as I showed you, the uh, you know the the moves to the downside are very very fast, and everybody that was up here that had their you know exact uh, exit strategy just you know got saw a hundred and forty point uh, decline on it, and everybody uh, you know is now panicking and bearish, and that's what took me into a a neutral uh, stand on the market, and like I said, it we could head lower on it. That's why I'm holding a third of my position and i'm just putting my stop up here if i get stopped out then you know i made 40 points on that third but i made 140 on this and this is really the way it works uh you know i may get out it may be out too early uh i i will find out soon enough but if it is i'm gonna get stopped out at you know if it isn't i'll get stopped out at 20 uh 28 or 2900 in that range there and if it goes down i'm, I'm hanging on to a third of a position so like i i've been saying we have uh some some very very volatile times that are going to be here anybody that is uh, you know basically thinking that they they know what's going on it's Woody's basically been calling these exactly and the sentiment has really been a good guide where even if it doesn't uh, go down when we have the high bullish sentiment readings it the market really doesn't go anywhere it, it just you know from from these levels we're, we're just kind of grinding higher some 40 or 50 points but from there this is what happens so um, like I said we have some big big moves that are approaching uh, be prepared for them if you want to know these dates take advantage of some of the specials we have and with that have a great night and I'll talk to you guys at our next video